Meteorologist Joseph Dames on deck. Joseph, I popped outside of the station a couple times tonight. Different levels of rain, but yeah. we've got a lot on the way. Huh? Yeah, today is just really nothing. Tomorrow's yeah. going to be a wet day. Tuesday, I mean, just about all week, we're going to see a substantial amount of moisture. A very right. light primer for once in store. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. We've only seen about a oh, little over an inch of rain so far this month, and I think we're going to double that, maybe triple that by the time we wrap up our whole work week. So we have a lot of moisture on the way. I hope you're having a great Saturday so far. Pretty nice night. You know, we do have some light rain out there, but it's not a steady downpour or anything like that. We're going to have that at times probably tomorrow and early next week. And on top of that, it's going to be a little breezy out there. Going to watch out for a little bit of uh, possible flooding as we go through likely late Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday with that heavy rain that's going to arrive. I think we can see anywhere about two to three inches of rain by the time we finish uh, all three of those days and we kind of wrap up. We'll probably see about two to three inches total. OK, radar right now having the rain. We uh, started off our night with just a very light drizzle or kind of a fine mist, but it's becoming a little more steady and that's going to be the case as we go through the overnight hours. Snow to the north of us, but those snow levels haven't really dropped for the Oregon Cascades at this time, so I do not expect any snow down to the passes or anything along those lines. Hillsborough over there, it's a little wet that goes all the way stretching to banks down towards Tiger and all the way to the south for areas like Salem as I expand this view. It's this area of low pressure here that's kind of spinning counterclockwise like a wagon wheel, something like that. Uh, that's that area of low pressure that is uh, kind of fueled by some cold air and some moisture streaming in from the south. So it's still going to be very wet. This is going to be consistent overnight tonight and likely for most of our day tomorrow. We have another round of moisture that's going to arrive later on on Monday night into Tuesday and it streams all the way down to the south and this is going to be a bulk of our moisture and then again on Wednesday. So we have multiple events that are going to be threaded through the work week, which is going to cause some issues as we go through the week. For now, though, a pretty quiet night. Just that light rain that's out there. Notice so this green mass, it's not going to get out of here anytime soon. It's going to be here for most of our Sunday, kind of parking itself along the coast. And then early afternoon and evening, I believe we'll have our heaviest rain. Uh, maybe a little bit earlier than midday, but it's going to be right around that time frame. So if you want to get something done tomorrow, the earlier the better, but just expect rain just about all day. There's going to be some drying going on on Monday, really not too bad, but then here comes that heavy rain as I was mentioning. It's going to stick around Monday night through our Tuesday, and then again we'll have some dry time on Wednesday, but it's not going to be much before we have another system arrive, as you could tell, late Wednesday night. The totals, they're going to be pretty impressive. Tomorrow, not too bad, about a quarter of an inch on the high side will be about a half an inch. Uh, but by the time we wrap up our Tuesday and Wednesday, watch what happens as we click through the time there. We get over about two and a half inches of rain by the time we wrap up our Wednesday. So it's going to be very wet out there uh, for at least a couple days. So our rain chance is going to be very high for our Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Not so bad on Wednesday, but then we're back at it by the time we get into our Thursday. Coastal forecast for tomorrow, it's going to be a little windy, a little wet. Temperatures in the 50s. That goes for the valley as well, lower 50s. Uh, breezy maybe topping off about 20 miles per hour. Madras at 52. Pendleton topping off at 48 in the gorge, some 40s, and that's the freezing level about 6,500 feet. Not going to see a lot of snow down there, but they did get some over the last 24 hours, which was nice. Look at that, about three inches uh, towards Timberline and Meadows. 55 on Tuesday, 53 on Wednesday, wet all week, some dry time on Friday. Poor Newport, four inches of rain. Yeah, the coast is really going to get it, yeah. so just be prepared for that. Uh, and tomorrow, I just want to add the high surf warning along the coast, uh, 30, 40 foot breakers so it could be okay. really choppy tomorrow. Okay, be careful out there. Let's get over to